the state of Ferguson who believe witness accounts that Brown had his hands raised in surrender at the time. On Saturday, Wilson announced his resignation from the police force, saying he was told his continued employment may put residents and police officers in Ferguson at risk, a circumstance that he cannot allow, and that he hoped his resignation would allow the community to heal. The killing of Michael Brown in August triggered months of sometimes violent protests in Ferguson. On Saturday, activists began a 120-mile march to protest the shooting and a court's decision not to prosecute Dan Wilson. The march was organised by the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People, calling for reform of police practices and a national law to prevent racial profiling. It's a matter of turning anger into action. Only that anger and bringing about justice. And that's what we're seeking to do here. Some 100 protesters will march for seven days from Ferguson to Jefferson City, with around 1,000 